This is the unearthly sound of a typical pulsar, rotating 1.4 times each second. Converted to audio, the pulsar's radio signal is a hypnotic, repetitious tick. But turn up the frequency and listen to this millisecond pulsar, spinning 174 times per second, so fast that its ticks blend together to generate a ragged note that's on the edge of turning into music. That's especially true when we listen to the Vela pulsar. The Vela pulsar has a terrific rhythm to it. It's hard to imagine this sound coming from a spinning star, of all things. It almost makes you want to get up and dance. The Vela pulsar is spinning with its cosmic beat at the center of a giant supernova remnant where its killer radiation tears through the galactic gas and dust around it. The supernova exploded 11,000 years ago, and today the pulsar is most spectacular when seen in X-rays. Rotating 11 times a second, time-lapse photos show that it's shooting out a jet of material, whipping through space like an uncontrolled fire hose. Cosmic chorus gets much bigger when it comes to a place called 47 Tucani, a globular cluster of stars in the southern constellation Tucana, the Toucan. The cluster is 16,000 light years away with 2 million stars packed into a sphere 120 light years across. Incredibly, 47 Tucani has 22 millisecond pulsars, each generating its own musical note in the bizarre stellar choir. To get a millisecond pulsar producing a musical note, you need to start with the kind of pulsar whipped up in speed by matter spilling onto it from a binary companion star. Well, in order to do this, you have to have lots of nearby stars. And what better place to do that than in a star cluster? So something like 47 Tucani, which is a tremendously large collection of stars nearby, uh, is an ideal place to have neutron stars turn into millisecond pulsars. The collective tune for the cluster's pulsars is a strangely haunting song from space generated by their 22 unique and different spins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I would hate to be on the